Hi, this is a follow-up on our catch crop trial. Um, we're just on the farm standard here. So this has been straw harrowed four times. It's a very quick and economical operation, around a litre of fuel a hectare, and we're doing 15 metres wide with uh, a speed of about 18 kilometres an hour. So you can imagine just how quickly we can get over the ground. Um, about 60 acres an hour. Now where the leading tyners run, where we've drilled it, you can see the the uh, trowel goes in nice and easily. And if we just lift that out, you can see the rooting, uh, the earthworms down there, and all of the holes, the pores in the soil um, from the earthworm burrows uh, are all through there, which is giving it excellent um, drainage and uh, excellent soil structure. In between the rows where we haven't run with the leading time, it's very difficult to push the trowel down into the ground um, but underneath there it's still in very good shape. The straw harrow has the main benefits of actually flushing the weeds so it will put, put them into the top two centimeters of tilth. Um, it will then get the weeds, the volunteers all growing. Um, it will get the straw broken down as you can see there's barely any straw which is left on here um, and it will do a fantastic job of just doing that preparation uh, to get the the weeds growing to go again um, to hoe them out basically or to pl pluck them out using the, the tines. Um, that's why we go uh, several times is to get the flushes of the grass weeds and such like to, to go and pluck them out afterwards with the uh, second and third and sometimes fourth um, straw harrowing operation. But as I say it's, it's very quick, very cheap, very easy to do. You've got plenty of time to do it in the summer. We've recently changed sprayers um, so you can see on here we've got some track lines across here that's where we've gone to a 36 meter sprayer but even being a very big 36 meter sprayer and quite heavy uh, challenger uh, by the brand um, it's uh, it's not created many indentations again that's because of the solid structure of these banks in between which support the machinery uh, we're just now coming into and evented the catch crop now the catch crop planted on here was planted with the low disturbance setup but then it was drilled the wheat was drilled using the standard leading tine and seven inch a blade and you can't really see too much of a difference between the farm standard and where we've put the catch crop um, but the catch crop has obviously uh, done some some benefits as well it's uh, got some roots down there uh, in the soil and Again, it is just full of wormholes and soil organic matter, worms themselves. So again, 18 years of, of clay and drilling um, on heavy clay soils in Suffolk. And this is the result that you'll get. Um, so we come across a little further. You can just see a change here. So we've got the band sewn here using the standard leading tine and the seven inch A blade. And then we have the low disturbance catch crop and we've drilled into that low disturbance catch crop with our low disturbance kit, hence the lines rather than the bands. Come across here and you can see it's all looking fine. It's, it's all established well. Um, it is a little bit patchier in places especially where it's been a bit wetter with it being wet last year and uh, where tractor wheelings and such like are and again when you push the trowel in it's a lot lot stiffer lot stiffer to get the trowel into the ground compared to where the leading tyners run although again the soil structure itself is very very good um, it is just stiffer because it just hasn't had that aeration effect from the leading time there uh, and the cover crop again sorry catch crop again was put in with that uh, low disturbance setup so it hasn't sort of been aerated from that happening um, with the leading time for the catch crop either we then come on to the area here um, where we've gone through with the uh, twin tine um, kit, uh, the low disturbance kit, but before this part we drilled the catch crop with the leading tine and the A blade. 
and you can see it's it's more regular um, it is stronger on here and it's taken a lot better than where we did low disturbance and low disturbance um, and again if I put the trowel into the ground it is stiff but it's not quite as stiff as it was on the last plot so that's the beauty with the Claydon drill. You can have the standard leading time. You can establish a catch crop with the leading time. And uh, then you can then come back and switch it over to the low disturbance setup and drill with the low disturbance setup if you so wish to. Again, it's not 100% there. There's, there are a few areas where we have wheelings where it hasn't taken quite so well but it's still looking pretty good and there is our 36 metre sprayer just coming down the headland of the field there now um, we're now on the borderline here so we're going back from the low disturbance to the standard played and leading time followed by the seven inch 18 centimetre a blade now this is into a cover crop part as well and the cover crop on this part again was drilled with the leading time followed by the seven inch a blade again you can see there really isn't much wrong with this at all it's come very nicely full of vigor the bands are bushing out very very nicely as well uh, today's the 30th of, of March just for a time reference and you can see all of this part here where we've got these stems standing up is all drilled into the cover crop and again where the leading tine is run the trowel goes in dead easily and if we lift out the banks in between and have a little look Again, earthworms full of holes and pores. Um, full of rooting. And it crumbles. Although, there's an earthworm there, I won't do it to that bit. And uh, um, if you get a piece of the soil and you push it together, you can very easily turn it into a nice golf ball. So again, 18 years of the Claydon system on here um, and drilling a catch crop into this part and drilling it again with the standard leading tine and A blade. And then we come off the edge of the catch crop here and then we go back to the farm standard uh, where we've used the straw harrow multiple times to get the weeds and the volunteers to grow, to remove them by going a second time to get the straw down onto the ground so the earthworms can pull it into the ground and feed from it. And again, it's just really, really good quality crumbly soil full of rooting and uh, good organic matter. So that's an update on the trial. Um, as I say, farm standard, catch crop, drilled with the leading tine, um, and then the other side drilled with the low disturbance, and then uh, using the leading tine and the low disturbance on both plots. We'll keep you updated, and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.